Turkey-Libya Military Cooperation for Create Peace in Mediterranean Libya's ambassador to Ankara has voiced confidence regarding military support from Turkey, saying President Recep Tayyip Erdogan will give a helping hand. We believe that His Highness President Erdogan will give a helping hand without delay, if it was requested from him. We should also mention the historical relation that united the Libyan and Turkish people, Ambassador Abdu Razak Mukhtar Abdul Gader told the Daily Hurriyet in an interview. Sending troops was not peculiar over the course of history, the ambassador said, giving the example of the siege of Tripoli in 1551 by Ottoman Sultan Suleiman the Magnificent. He said that back then, the Ottomans, too, paid attention to the call of the Tripoli people. Erdogan had previously said Turkey could send troops to Libya if the Tripol-based U.N. recognized Government of National Accord GNA, of Fayez al-Saraj requested it, following a security and military deal between the two countries. Foreign Minister Mevlut Cavusoglu on December 14 said that no such request has been made yet. When asked about the conditions in which Libya would request troops from Ankara, the ambassador said that the legitimate government is the decision-maker in the process. Regarding the Defense and Security Memorandum of Understanding, Mao, Abdul Gader said the deal is beneficial for both countries. The Mao is a gain for both countries, and it will provide benefits and advantages for joint interests, he said. What can be the obstacle if a Turkish military base is wanted in Libya? Turkey is a friendly country, and we have a history with it, he added. The Mao on defense and security was hammered on November 27 between the senior government officials from two countries along with another deal on the delimitation of the maritime jurisdiction areas in the Mediterranean. The agreement pledges a legal basis for substantial cooperation in the field of defense and security including establishing defense offices in each other's countries, training, allocating of air, ground and naval vehicles and holding joint exercises and intelligence. The move has come as the Tobruk-based General Khalifa Haftar forces have intensified attacks against the United Nations-backed government in Tripoli under the leadership of al Sarraj. After the agreement, many countries especially the European Union lashed out at Turkey and Libya, saying the deal does not abide by international law. 27 members of the EU gathered on December 13 in Brussels and agreed on a statement claiming Turkish-Libyan Maritime Pact violates the sovereign rights of third countries. Regarding the criticisms, the ambassador said that the objections from third parties do not have a meaning. International community should respect the sovereignty of states and privacy of relations. The legitimacy of agreements will be given by the signatory parties. The objections made, outside the relevant sovereign parties, do not have a meaning, he said. Regarding a possible joint drilling in the eastern Mediterranean, Abdul Gader said that the authorized body in charge of determining oil and drilling policies is Libya's National Petroleum Company. This MAO is the extended or advanced version of the security agreement signed between Turkey and Libya in 2012. The maritime jurisdiction in the new agreement is determined by relevant authorities, he said. In Libya, we have the National Petroleum Company which is assigned to be in charge of all issues regarding oil and drilling, which also determine the policies and controls of these, he added. When asked about his opinion on the support Haftar receives from the international area, including the US and Russia, the ambassador said such a double standard works up the crisis in Libya. The support should always be in favor of strengthening legitimacy and respecting agreements. But, if we see it otherwise, this would be a diversion. While the international community should defend and support the legitimacy and stability of our country, the conflict and double standard of some countries supporting illegal formations becomes the fuel of our crisis, he said. The ambassador also praised Turkey's regional support saying such an endorsement will strengthen GNA's legitimacy. This will show Turkey's respect to international legitimacy and the United Nations, he said. He also added that Turkey will not keep back from performing its moral duty towards such countries. He also conveyed Turkey's everlasting efforts to halt the crisis in Libya, saying the moves of Ankara has earned a special place in the hearts of Libyan people.